Hi guys, thought I would try to show my uh, Harbor Freight pump Rubbermaid coolant tank upgrade, if you want to call it an upgrade, to uh, my Tormach. So over here is just a Harbor Freight sump pump. I'll put a link to which one I bought. Uh, just today I added a uh, aerator. Just got a, this is just one for an aquarium got from Walmart see how long that lasts so I was having a problem with uh, some stench I uh, switch back and forth between flood and the fog buster so sometimes this can sit here for two three four weeks at a time and I was just noticing a, a stench developing I think just because you know no air was getting to it so I'm hoping that helps uh, using the extreme cut 251 C so let me see if I can show you some of the parts here so you can see I got rid of the uh, pan that is supplied with the machine I took the uh, chip pan out of the inside and right now this is all just stuff I could buy at the store I eventually want to make you know sheet metal parts and replace this so this is a, uh, you know, just a Rubbermaid container I found that fit inside this cavity nice and tight. So this is the first tray when everything falls down. It's going to go into this tray. I tried drilling holes in it, and you can see this, this actually cracked uh, when I was drilling holes. But I've been using it that way uh, for, uh, it was probably about three months ago when I did this. So what I did is, when that cracked, I just had, this is just uh, screen material. I literally just put this in here, kind of trying to use this pan to catch all the big chips. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this in here with one hand or not. Let me see if I can mount the camera so I can use both hands. All right, I've got the camera mounted, so let's see if I can do this. Like I said, this this part right here, this is really the main part that I've started working on a design to replace this with a you know a sheet metal fabricated pan that slides in and out pretty easily. So this goes in. You gotta get this tube just right. There you go. So goes in kind of locks in place so that is the first pan put this in there again this is not pretty at all but it works and then let's see if I can under here I've got this other this is a like a heavy duty paint roller pan so everything just kind of sits in there this is a uh, I stole a lot of stuff from G made CNC I'll put a link to his video you know he uses this same pan I did something kind of similar here so this pan I, uh, I drilled some holes I should have showed that down in the bottom I drilled some holes then, what I do to catch all the fine chips, I have, this is actually like a blanket filter media for air filtration. And this one's pretty nasty because it's been in there for three months, but again, it still works. Basically, put this in here. In between the two of these all the big chips get caught in here the smallest chips lay in here I can pull this out clean this I can pull this out clean it and after like I said this was about three months ago and when I took everything out today to freshen it up there were 
no chips down inside of here. The only chips that were in this pan were the ones that kind of fell into it while I was taking everything apart. Um, actually, I just put this on upside down, so I probably just got a bunch of chips in there. But you get the idea. And there were no chips that I could find or fish out of the actual coolant tank. So I was happy with that. Oops. Okay. Let's see if I can take this off of here. And see if we can spray some coolant. So that's that. Show you up here. So everything just goes down straight into this pan. Uh, what I'm doing right now to keep this pan, you know, down the way I want it, I actually have a, a bungee that I put over it. And then, you can see I ran, the key here is to run as big a line as possible from the sump pump up to your manifold. So again, just did this with things I could buy. You know, I had plans to make a manifold, but then I thought, hey, I can buy this garden hose manifold for, I think it was like $10, and then all the fittings. So I have three lock line hoses, and then I've got one ran to a wash down hose. So you can, you know, open and shut them as needed. And I'm going to turn this on. Hopefully you can see how powerful this is. Because um, I usually run these. Right now i got them you know, all the way open. I usually only run them you know, maybe a quarter of the way open. Um, I was running some thicker aluminum parts and was really having a problem getting the chips evacuated. Which is what prompted me to do this. So this solved that problem. did create a bunch of other problems with uh, leaks and such around the machine, you know, around all the, uh, the corners and stuff. I bought this machine used, so I did not install the uh, enclosure. I really think what I need to do is basically take it all apart, make sure that they sealed all these correct, because if, uh, if chips build up here and don't allow the coolant to drain, you know, if the coolant level rises enough on this front edge, it leaks out of the seam. So I'm wondering if they forgot to put the seal in there or if the seal just is worn out, but I really need to work on that. So let's see here if we can turn the coolant on. This is There's a good chance this is going to spray me in the face if these nozzles move, so let's see what happens. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that was definitely splashing me in the face. But you can see it drains down. Drain, you can actually see where it washed some chips out of the machine. So it catches all the big ones. They come into here. This catches all the fine ones. Let's see if you can see any. Yeah, you can see some smaller chips in there. Just from then. That is how that works. So. I'm hoping I can find the time to really make this look nice so it doesn't look so hokey. But, like I said, it works. It's functional. I just wanted to show you guys. I'll put some links uh, below for some of the uh, exact components that I bought. Thanks for watching. Okay, last thing I wanted to show is this is how I usually leave the nozzles. So I have the longer nozzle with a 90 degree. That way I'm getting, you know, basically 360 degrees of coolant onto the tool, which on the, uh, the thicker aluminum parts I did, it had some blind holes. So that was really helpful getting that, getting that in there. You know, kind of had a mount it so it was getting down inside the hole to get the chips out. Um, right now I have the nozzles you know, barely open so that I don't douse myself with coolant. But, you know, that's basically what you get. And then everything just drains down into the pan. 
and what you can do at the end of the day is, you know, you can just shut these valves, open the one to the hose, uh, spray everything down, it washes down into that first pan, and then, you know, the next morning, after all the coolant has drained out, you can pull that pan out and remove all the chips. So, thanks for watching.